Welcome back to the race. This is week 90, day 6. Defense results. We got a success against Thunder Better. Yeah. Thunder Burn, please. Yeah. Serious lack of bowels right there. Uh, they did not lose any units, so let's see what happened. need to turn map animations all right so plus 10 plus 5 female coring with married to her herself i guess her male self uh yeah this is basically it this encounter post smoke speed res solo soul yeah this is like i said before like Female Fallen Corrin is a ball of stats. And there's male Corrin, plus 10, 4 star though, 4 star plus 10. Yato Refine, Dragon Fang Fury, Speed Wrestling, and Double Dry Speed. And this is pretty much what kills my team, that Double Dry Speed, because she's already pretty fast, 46. And then uh, Corrin can give her plus three plus three and plus four which is plus ten putting her at 56 h speed and with only one ally next to her she gets an extra plus four meaning she hits um what is it 60 speed which is completely uh negates the whole point of this team which is um speed based damage reduction except for bike but yeah, so there's an Aga, just an Aga, smite, attack, and defense tactics. Plus 5 Aversa with um, HP speed to seal, War Flyers, chill attack, Mumbo, reposition. And Altina. Just reposition Altina, and that's it. So, yeah, they're going through the left side, which is, well, we all know what's on the left side. So, get set up and there's a trap. So, they have to get back to their healing tower to be able to heal, except, as you can see, Corrin is still outside of the healing tower range. So, it's turn four, and they had to spend all the time just to heal. Turn five. So it's now turn five. And finally they're able to set up. So let's take a look at the scoring. She gets hit by everything. Literally everything. Uh, but she still has 40 defense and 39 speed right here. So it's 39 speed. Uh, speed res solo does not activate. So that's 39 speed. Savage Breath, she only has one ally within two spaces, so that's plus four speed, putting her at 39, 44, 140, 43 speed, 43 speed, 46 speed, 49 speed, and 53 speed, which even Sairi with uh, Phantom Speed of plus seven, it's only 47 speed. And my fastest unit is Leth. Um, which she can nullify uh, speed buffs, but she doesn't have any. So all she does is take away an extra three speed. But even left is just not strong enough. So I pretty much just get walled by this scoring. Completely kills my team. That and of course I'm being debuffed by a Bursa. So, so there's guidance uh, allowing I bike to jump. Unfortunately, he got hit by uh, her special on the first hit, so. Yeah. With a tag like that, you, you can take down bikes. So now, her speed rest solo is active. So Tiki Guidance in with Dragon Effect in this spot. Uh, Female Corrine does have no follow-up, 
which blocks my uh, ball fighter. Tennis Mirabilis, which gets exact damage. 19 and 19. Kind of sucks. Then Leth, as we already said, she, even with the solo skill and the low skill, it's not fast enough to, dis to be discoring. And all we have is Tracer, which got herself out of position. Like, by Tracer going straight down right here, it means she was in nobody's range of attack. And since they had no way to get to her, and it was already turn seven. Yeah, she just played them. She's like, I'm just gonna go this way. You guys take care of yourselves. So that's how Tracer won as a battle. All right, uh, so just let's get started today's match. Uh, so this is now uh, S rank, even though there's like just today and tomorrow left, but okay. Um, everything should be right. I don't think I mess with anything. Just a quick double check. Uh, yeah, I don't need to check you guys. The mirror stands. Leaf has heavy blade vantage. That's smoke. Okay. So still has her dancing wings of mercy and nails with even pulse. Okay. So everybody seems to be fine. Let's get on with the match. We got a Naga. Oh, Lysithia, how I hate you. So Lysithia, oh, with Luna. Okay, with a Luna Lysithia, I prefer a hundred times to a Mumbo Lysithia because you can pulse her down. So again, this is the, a base Lysithia with just quick and pulse for Insta Luna, but if we pulse her down, no Luna. Hector with armor boots and base kit. Azura with Mumbo, Blaze Dance. Again, I don't like this, not these dances on Azura, on Azura specifically. You always wanna go with Torrent Dance or Earth Dance because they give you five, which means when she doubles them, is plus five to all stats. Blaze Dance and um, uh, Gale Dance only give you four. Ophelia with Pulse Mog, Harry Special Fighter, all those other stuff. 45 of HP, which means Lysitia gets Pulse Down first. Uh, Sally has an Oven as ever. And Naga for Dragon Effectiveness on Lysitia. So this is obviously a Nails fight. We need to bring Nails for the Pulse Down. There's just no, no avoiding that. Um, unless we want to go with Leaf. Uh, no. We'll just go with Nails. And uh, it's key. Nails and it's key. So we need to wait until turn... Three. Well, on turn two, Lysitia loses hers, and on turn four, Ophelia loses hers. And they're pretty much um, the priority over here, to have them lose their specials. And then for attacking this team, it's best to tank from right here with Itsuki. Good to go. Um, what is your design? Naga does have rest tactics so Naga can help Itsuki get his rest tactic by having Itsuki start here then reposition her him here and then put him over here uh, yeah there's no way for this Lysitia to actually jump uh, except for like a rally she rally then she can attack this spot which is why we need to pose both of them down we have Dragon Effectiveness, so we can take out Naga if we stop Lysitia's Luna. We win. So, 
I also kind of want to get these two things out of the way since we do have to wait till turn four to set up. So. Mm, think it would be better this way. If I destroy this, I can have Naga destroy this. Um, or this way. Destroy you, dance you from here, or destroy you, dance you from underneath and destroy you. Either way, we need to dance. And for this one, if I can attack from right here, I can destroy it just fine. All right. Shall we dive in? So let's dive in. What do you need? I always make a splash. Destroy this. Then destroy this. With uh, we put Naga over here. Ready. We can break this safely. And then we'll switch your yes. positions on the next turn. Alright. So there goes Lysithia. Her special is done. And since Dance Bolts only gives her one at max charge, I don't have to worry about her um, getting the second one. We'll swim circles around so them. let's get rid of this. Consider it done. Reposition. I can do this. Shall we dive in? And then wait. It will be done. I have Naga. Let's overwhelm Avitsky there what and Naga right here. Okay, so you have my trust. Go here. I always make a splash. Destroy this. Okay. Uh, I meant to dance you, but I messed up. Yes. All right. Okay, so we're all set up. Leave it to me. It will be done. Set up its key. Let's go. Take out the healing tower. Uh, do we want to take the healing tower? This is a even number turn, so Leave we can me. do it and protect ourselves from uh, Hector. Consider it done. Then we kind of want to make sure. We get Naga out of the way. What is your desire? And you should be we'll moving back just in case Ophelia dances and reaches the spot. Alright. Yeah. Damn, we didn't kill I see it. We have one we were one attack short of being able to we'll one shot her. Practice. One point in attack. That sucks. It will be done. Ah, uh, one point of attack. I really. I can do this. All right, we're not taking this. We got ladders, so. Yes. With utter certainty. Shall we dive in? <laughs> See, Lysithia will never get her special again, which is why I don't agree with just going with her like that. And we actually do not want to go any farther because we will probably kill everybody. Well, Hector will live. You have my trust. So let's... We're not keeping this, by the way, so... Hector doesn't die, but everybody else should die. We'll swim circles around them. Goddess, guide me. This is just to like at the very least show them that yeah, we can finish this if we wanted to. 
We're not, but we could With see certainty. just fine. So we'll I take this eater and we'll leave. Ah, uh, that sucks, man. One HP. I need one point of attack more. Like if I had one more point of attack, that would have worked. But I literally had no way to increase my attack power by anymore, since I was already. Um, I already had all the buffs on Itsuki that he can get. See, Mirage Falchion gives him plus seven if he's the first unit to get attacked. So, although doesn't let me see, uh, four initiates combat during grand bonus units equal number of foes who have already acted. So yeah, that that actually was what hurt me because Ophelia moved first, so that's minus three. Then Azura dance, which uh, that's another minus three to put me at minus six but because the minimum is three so that by having Ophelia move um, Azura Dancer that actually that put um, Ophelia is not having gone yet again but I know she moved before Ophelia attacks so basically it's their turn order that if Ophelia had attacked right off the bat, then we would have killed her. Uh, this looks like the same layout as the last match, but with a lot less threatening units. Impact Leo with Bow of Beauty, which is the what? What is this Bow do again? Sally Special Trigger. Um, Star of Combat, if any HP is greater than 50%, gains plus 4 during combat, and if you initiate combat, for can I make a follow up attack? But you, and you have a lot of defense though, so. Azura, Triangle Adept, Wings of Mercy, Hone Speed, see Earth Dance, that's what you're supposed to run. Thrasir with Fury and Hardy Bearing. Plus 10 lookouts with infantry pulse and quick impulse. So, daybreak lance is minus one, quick impulse minus two. So, you have a two turn Ignis. You're enough. Well, I guess Ike brings it down because of plus 10, plus 10 Ike. Um, so, he brings it down to one turn cooldown, and Bartra brings it down to zero turn cooldown. And this is effective against armors, which. Hurts, Sothis, and then Sudden Panic and Panic Ploy. Um, so, where do we go? I think from here is my best place to attack. It puts me in range of Trasir and Ike. This does have a launch, so... He would launch me into this trap, and I think that's the whole point of this team, to launch into this trap, so Lucas has Insta Ignis to kill you. So maybe going from this spot is better. Minus seven, minus seven, no, minus six, minus six, okay. And then we could shut down Azura. She does have Triangle at Dime uh, Adept, so she would probably attack Itsuki right away. Although this Leon is the problem. Why have, so this prevents follow-up and this prevents a follow-up. Um, I guess you're not confident in his speed for quick repose sets. And does he get instant Ignis? Yes, yes, instant Ignis. So that's gonna hurt a lot. So this is a very difficult team to take on. Without, like, I could go with Nils again and basically do the same thing I just did right now lower out because she also gets instant Luna so I will have to wait to turn 4 to destroy this two mostly for his Ignis although he's still gonna hit me with Ignis regardless if I tag from here I will have to tank from like this spot over here to be safe or shut down Azura Either shut down Azura, because he'll attack me from here, 
I won't be able to double him because of uh, double impact. And you don't have lunch, you just have sudden panic and panic ploy. But so say I go from here, you go one, two, and attack, you go one, two, attack over here, but uh, pretty sure I don't die to you. 43 defense. 54, that's 9. Uh, that's 15. 19. 23 damage. So that's about 23 damage on one hit. You hit me, bring down Ignis to 1. I hit you bring down Ignis to zero, you get dance, and then you hit me with Ignis, and I die. Mm. This is the real trap. There is no way this is not the real trap because of the launch. There's no point on having that launch if this is not the real trap. because of Wings of Mercy, activating Wings of Mercy, see? This is why this is the real trap. Although that will also probably be a problem because if you attack here and I hit you, then you could just Wings of Mercy over here as well. Which means I'll have to attack from like right here. Either shut down or like, Sotis can handle um, Lucas. And Sotis does have um, nails to play with. So should I go with Sotis and put Sotis in this part right here? So when Ike lunges, he'll just launch me right here. And then with Special Fighter, that means I don't have to worry about the... Nothing, there's no rallies except for Trasir. But if she can attack, then she will not rally. So I think I go with this team. A fine evening. Very annoying teams, both of these ones. I really, really hate infantry pulse teams. Like, so much. Alright. So in order to get up here with Sotis, I'm gonna need like repositions and stuff. What is your desire? Hmm. What do you need? It will be done. A and yes, um, I do need to wait. Consider it done. We'll swim circles around them. Uh, till turn four, so I have to remember that because I've made those mistakes before. Alright, uh, um, kind of want to destroy things, but because to get over here, I need to destroy this. What is your desire? So let's destroy this. We're gonna have to back sort this up. Okay. Yes. Shall we? Uh, I guess in? we can smite. You have my trust. Yeah, yeah, sudden panic. Um, to get this, this is turn three, so turn four is next turn. What is your desire? A fine evening. We'll swim circles around. What do you now. need? Hmm. All right. Alright, so move Sotis over here. I can do this. 
Dancer to power down Ike. Destroy this. I always make a and get Nils out of the way. With utter and I wasn't able to get Naga out of the way. So that might actually hurt. Alright, let's see how much damage we do to him. 17. Yeah, I wasn't able to get Naga out of the way. Such power. Literally what I just said, like, I'm not gonna be able to get Naga out of the way. It's my turn now. And then Thrasir should attack and die. We were just in range of special fighters, so... And then Bartra will come. A fine evening. Youch! You have my trust. We don't kill that guy. How do we... Why are we so debuff? We weren't next to anybody at the beginning of the turn. Were we hit by panic manner? By panic? What were we hit by? You have my trust. Not actually sure what she was getting hit by that lowered my stats so much. Ah, and so another one that we have okay. to with utter certainty. We'll pass on on this one again. A time to celebrate. It's because we can't kill this battery. Shoot. Yeah, we messed up with the <laughs> We messed up with the um what you call it? The position of Naga. I always make a splash. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we can finish this, but with no ether. So that's another ladder. That's two ladders, man. <sighs> I really hate infantry pulse teams, man. They're just so fucking annoying. It's not even fun about fighting them, it's like you either survive all the infant all the attacks or you don't. That's basically all it is. Um close defense. Another Azura. This time IO Shield, Moon Way, eh, Moon Boom, Wings of Mercy. Legendary Julia, which is gonna be a pain for Itsuki. Tracer. And on. Rally? No rallies. Okay, so this is an Itsuki fight a lot easier. Because I can just put him like right here. Um, can even have him heal, destroy this. And then push him this way. Yeah, all I have to do is be careful of Julia. So we can bring Braffy Arm just for the healing. And that way I don't have to worry about healing tower. This is, technically you can beat this with leaf, because you can just go set up over here. But these two are gonna be a problem. So we'll just go with this team. Bright of Yarn. Bright of Yarn means I don't have to worry about do my damage at the beginning. And she can even take this healing and um, panic manner out of the way. Careful. 
so let's do that. Take this out. Reposition her. Move her to the trap. And then the two of you can just go up this way. There's that. All right. Heal you. Remember, all we need to do is stay out of Julia's range and get into Azura's range. Since there's no rally, she will attack. I always make a splash. All right. With that, we could even destroy this. Mm, Forty-nine speed. Good to go. Mm. Let's overwhelm them. Good to go. Let's stay right there. You have my trust. What is your desire? There's arm. Do we survive Luna Flash? Sorry. No. Everyone. Holy shit, I am getting crushed. I'm having a really, really bad day today. Shall we dive in? Huh? Death blow plus. <sighs> Consider it done. Yeah. I love you. Whatever. Just finish this. Let's see if Julia kills us again. Hey, he survived. Alright. That is pretty much it. We got no ladders left. So, is win or lose? This is pretty much it. This is very annoying day today. And it just gets worse. Because now we have to go with Faye. And Flora. So Flora is the dangerous one for Sothis. Like Faye, not so much. I guess she does hit us twice, but that's about it. Like quad. I will have to play her face a team like this. And playing face in my Morty is... I don't know if um, Leaf can just, just can kill Mamori. Flora, I think we can take her out. Faye, we can take her out. There's no dancers at the very least. But having to thank these bull fighters. I don't know if Leaf can take out Mamori. It will have to be like up to you to take out Mamori. And I have to count on that thing. And really, I don't have another choice. I have to go with player face for a team like this. Children of man. All right, attack of 55, Glory. attack of 57. Friends, I will not abandon you. So it let's get rid of this. Um, Plus three, mirror strike, aversa. Duma is gonna do ten damage or seven damage at the beginning. Faye has armor march, so Mamori has armor march. So she can reach Faye can reach this spot. So that's something I have to be careful of. And you also have armor merge, so if I destroy this, you can go one, two, attack, and attack. So I do have to be careful of their range. Got it. So let's start by destroying this. I see. 
and then destroy Friends, this. I will not abandon you. Again, one, two, and attack to this spot. With utter certainty, yes. Uh, as long as I don't destroy this, I should be fine. Because you can go one, two, attack, and attack. Can anybody reach here, actually? Like, one, two. One, two, and one, two. So, no, no one can actually reach this spot. So, let's get rid of that as well. You have my trust. And we'll be panicked by Aversa, but not leave. Forward. All right, so we can take out Flora. Unfortunately, we weren't able to gale force. In. 31 damage Friends, I will not abandon you. and we could take you out after that but I don't know this trap so let's back up a little bit Consider it done. I always out of a versa what is your desire All right. Forward. With utter certainty. All right. We'll swim circles around them. So we can take out you. Let's take out Faye. And Mamori has Bull Fighter or Benchful Fighter. Benchful Fighter. Okay, so that's good. That means that she's not able to double him. You don't have boots, Got so it. no problem there. Choose your path. Friends, I will not abandon you. Ah, uh, this is the real trap. Forward. We can move leaf over here and done. there we go. So he'll take a hit from her. Got it. Take out a bird, Sam. Take out Julia. Shall we dive in? Kill Duma. And at the same time. I always mm, make a splash. 69, 50. Okay. We'll so we'll take another hit from Mamori. We'll get panicked, but it doesn't really matter. You have my trust. We can take the ether next turn. And done. now that she doesn't have any friends, we should be able to finish her off. With utter certainty. Yes. Yes. Alright. Consider it done. You have my trust. Alright, so he'll get hit. Get the ether. Shall we dive in? Get the ether. Finish her off. Huh. 
Oh, man. Armors. So much easier to deal than freaking infantry poles. Oh, man. And that other one, I think it was because um, the reason why Alm was able to double us was just... Uh, we took to uh, the bright shine, lower us our speed enough to be under the speed threshold. So tier 25 and we got two matches to go for tomorrow. We'll take care of those tomorrow or well later on. Because we got some free summonings to do before they expire. Not this one yet. Not this one yet. This one is about to expire, so let's redeem for red. Um, I would love Elencia. More Elencias. I can never have enough Elencias. But uh, let's see what we get. Uh, Elliewood. You're not Elencia, Elliewood. And that is it, right? That's the only... Okay, so... Fed Channel. Uh, Fed Channel happened. Um, and we were told that it's going to happen in two phases. Fed Channel Part 1 was the one we just saw last night. And Part 2 is coming out next month before Choose Your Legends. So... We are going to be getting re weapon refineries for all of these four units right here. And we kind of got like a, a little bit of sneak preview into what they're going to have. At least some of what they're going to have. Oh, no, no, no. Go back, go back. Um, why can I see them? I used to be able to see them before. See? But for some reason, they removed that. This one had it because we checked it before. So we know it had it. So. All right. So we won't be able to look at them. But. So Celica. Um, the way her weapon works right now in game is. If she has more allies around her. She gets a special cooldown proc. So I actually do have Celica. So let's. So here's Celica. So, see, if Phoenix were in two spaces of an ally, grant special cooldown charge plus one. So she gets a blade effect, you know, like a special cooldown plus one whenever she hits a, a unit. Um, that's all in favor of Gale Force and Double Lion. So, when normally she's full power, full health, and she's able to double a unit. Uh, she can quad them and usually prog Gale Force by just simply proking the Heavy Blade effect. Now, from what we saw on her... Um, oh, and Double Lion does one point of damage after combat. So from what we saw on the trailer, on the uh, Fair channel, is that she regains 7 health after combat. So kind of like a slightly stronger um, um, what's called mystic boost but she only recovers six in the trailer that's because of the double lion doing minus one when she was a full health so so we know that she has a seven heal in her weapon and she gets a special cooldown after combat so sort of like a special spiral or since it's in a weapon it would be more of a um, uh, what is his name Yarne more of a Yarne effect on her weapon that gives her like the special cooldowns we don't know if it's two she gets two cool two special cooldowns or just one uh, because when she attacked she attacked a sorter which had weary fighter so she only hit him twice with the double lion uh, effect. She ended up with one cooldown. And then she got the, uh, the cooldown minus one. She started with uh, a three cooldown. So 
with the three cooldown, the blade effect uh, against the stance effect. So she got one per hit, killed him, and then got the minus one cooldown after that. So we don't know exactly what are the conditions to get that special spiral like effect at the end. If it's just if she attacks and she's in her cooldown and she still has cooldowns left, if she has to kill a unit to get a cooldown, we don't know. So, so far that's the only things we know about her, that she will heal 7 and that she will get some kind of cooldown, either a 1 or a 2 after combat. And we don't know the, the exact um, conditions that need to be met for her to get that cooldown. Next, we got um, Veronica. Now, Veronica's, um, we didn't get to see her. The only thing we saw her do was heal uh, Salika, but we got a little look at her symbol. And her symbol is very similar to, uh, where are you, where are you? You should be around this area. There you go, Erica. It's very similar to Erica Siglin with the little stick figure person in the middle. Except like Celica's, I mean, Erica's has this blue background or with a little, a little power up symbol. Hers had like colors behind her, similar to um, kind of like this, like the little uh, symbol that um, is on the fashion for the Omni buffs, but I looked at it a couple of times and I never saw yellow on it. I saw red, blue, and green, but never yellow, which means it has to be red is attack, blue is uh, defend, no, blue is rest, and green is speed. So it will have to be with something of those three because um, they were more of an, a triangle shape than an X shape, like uh, the ones that are on Marf. Meaning she only power up three stats, so uh, it could either it could be like Sally, uh, like Erica, that she, after combat she adds whatever buffs are around her to herself, like when it's active, or it can be like probably a Caden that. If she has buffs of those three specifically, she'll pass them off to um, units around her. At the very least, we know it's not going to be another... Which, before we saw that, like I thought the most likely thing that she would get um, as a refine would be... Where is it? Um... Uh, would be like a um, blood leaf fan effect or blizzard effect or blue croton um, Matthews spy dagger whatever like that kind of effect because it would kind of like make the most sense for it to be an effect like that with the debuffs that she provides and the buffs she gets but no it's not that so at least we know it's not gonna be anything like that which was what I thought would be more likely for her to get it now Ephraim, we didn't see um, anything other than his weapon except that it healed during combat. So he got like a plus, he got seven per hit, which is similar to a forceps, um, forceps lance. Um, don't remember what it's called, but yeah, like forceps, whenever he hits, he heals seven HP. And his symbol... Um, has a little sword which indicates attack and like a little um, similar to the renewal symbol uh, who has renewal around here uh, nobody has renewal just so we can look at it for a second okay so you have renewal So yeah, like that little uh, cross-shaped symbol for renewal. So that's probably what the 7 HP means. And yeah, we don't know what, what other effect other than the healing it has. Because 
He does double a unit, but that's just Garm's base effect that allows him to double. So, and then Hector, um, I have no idea. Like, I believe we did get a look at what the symbol is like. I don't just don't remember what it is. So that's probably the most substantial part of the update. Then we, of course, um, got the changes to the summoning pool, which as of this moment, there is a bug on this uh, banner because all of book two units are supposed to have been removed from this banner when you summon on it. So you're only supposed to get uh, five stars, the four that are the hero fest, and any unit that is um, book three and above or like ending of book two. I think there's, uh, there's some from the ending of book two before that that are still will still be in the pool but i believe their bug is because all of the units that are supposed to be on these daily banners i mean these weekly revival banners that we're getting like um are coded onto this banner so there's on twitter they said that it was a bug and i believe on the notification port it also says it uh, i am thinking of someone on this banner like uh for sothesis try to get as many sotis i can get maybe even try to plus 10 sotis but um i haven't decided yet uh we'll decide soon since it's very short and of course this replaces the introductory hero fest banners for brand new players on to weekly revival banners which we are getting weekly revival banners for units that are for the units that are getting removed so what they'll do they're interscaled so one week will be the old focus banners that we've been getting the focus revivals like uh where is it uh i guess it expired oh yeah it expired yesterday before this one dropped so we did have another weekly revival banner so it will be starting book two then it will go down to big book one the week after that book two then book one so on and so forth for these units now this one over here this today's revival well this week's revival is a fairly decent banner mostly because uh celica with her refine became way stronger a unit and i guess that's a thing with celicas they get refines and their refines are really amazing so it's still we haven't seen the full effect of Brave Celica's Refine, but Fallen Celica Refine was really good, and of course, Base Celica's Refine was really good. And um, Ephraim is here. Uh, Ephraim is also here, but you guys already got this one, so. Um, so Ephraim, of course, is getting his um, Refine, so this is a way to get him before the Refine. And then Harden, which of course has Ball Fighter and nothing else. Or I guess Brace and Death Rest. But yeah, just there's no point in summoning for Harden anymore. He's just been outclassed by this point. Uh, we're also getting daily banners, daily focus banners. Um, today was Icon Soren. So this comes with their own uh, Bound Hero Battles that have quests the first one was beat beat it with a infantry armor flyer and cavalry on your team which is pretty easy because you don't even have to read the hardest level you just gotta be the second level um and of course it's gonna be daily rewards so on day one we did get the five tickets although these tickets are available if you haven't logged in for as long as this banner is up and speaking of this hero fest banner which is a pretty good banner again sothis if you want merges if you want temples if you want wrath do not summon for sothis just use grails for um what's his face get wrath off him you want to summon for the units so or the very specific fodder that they have so Duo Ephraim, of course, has a uh, Heavy Blade 4. Nagi has Special Fighter. Uh, Sothis has Temples. And Bernadetta has 
attack speed push 4 and lol attack uh, lol speed death so if you want any of these skills this is a good chance to get them if you want the units this is a really good chance to get them especially because as we all know hero fest is five star focus star but plus five stars get a three rate focus so yeah, again sotis is good for wrath i mean not wrath temples Heavy Blade and Lol Attack Dev. So if you pass Heavy Blade from Janky, I mean, make use of Janky, he's kind of a useless unit. So uh, getting Heavy Blade of him, and then you can get Heavy Blade and Lol Attack Dev out of Ephraim. Nagi, Distant Counter and Special Fighter for armor units or just Distant Counter for non-armor units. Dragon Valor, I guess, for Dragon units. If you pass enough this encounter to one of them, might as well pass that, not do, don't waste it. And then of course Bernadetta attack speed push 4 and lol speed death. Unfortunately we don't have an easily accessible attack speed push 3 unit for you to pass both lol and a push kill. But if you do have someone with attack speed push 3 that you're not using, uh, you can use them to pass that. Then you can pass push 4 and lol speed death from Bernadetta but Bernadetta is a pretty good unit in on herself so uh, you can keep her there is no spark on this banner as you can see there's nothing down here uh, like this over here so hero fest is just whatever you summon so you don't have to go up to 40 to get a free you cannot go up to 40 to get a free unit uh, yeah and of course we are getting a pirate theme banner um let's see if he's i uh, don't think we'll see it over here but yeah there's a pirate theme banner uh four units from four different games uh, of course the best one is veronica sander and i do love the design especially because of her her axe actually has Hildeus Skjalf uh, in it. If you look at the um, uh, Veronica's uh, staff and the axe, like the base of the axe is actually Hildeus Skjalf. So that's pretty cool. Again, here's all the bonuses we're getting for this uh, mid-year uh, celebration. And that is about all that i want to cover on this um we don't know the stats of all of the units that we're getting on this uh pirate team banner so um you can look them up online pretty easily uh, and better end this before our phone dies and lose the recording so um yeah with all that being said i thank you all for watching i'll see you all next time bye